You know, a couple of weeks ago, we heard a special edition of Nine on the Town called The Fountain of Youth. But we were thinking that maybe the best way to live forever is just to do it the old-fashioned way with diet and exercise. So we put Sky Chandler on a 10-week program to keep her young and lean. Let's see how she's doing. In North Hollywood, remember Skye? We met her a few weeks back as she began a diet and exercise plan designed to make her feel better and get her body summer ready. Well, I joined Skye at the North Hollywood gym when she checked in with certified personal trainer Sean Phillips, who's been giving her tips on how to get in shape. So Sky, you have been on this program for how long? Uh, about two and a half, three weeks. Two and a half weeks. And Sean, basically you just laid out this whole program and you had to follow it. Now before this all began, you weighed how much? Like 132? 132. 132, yeah. It's like 132, all right. Ready to step <laughs> on this baby? Yeah. All right, go for it. All right. Is that 124, 125? 124, 125. Go Sky. Go Sky. <laughs> that is awesome. Guy's progress has been great, but Sean thinks it's time to kick it up a notch. He decides to give her some more do's and don'ts to add to her existing program. First up, do eat protein before carbs. What's up with that, Sean? Well, the main reason why you should eat protein before you eat carbs is all based on blood sugar and insulin. For instance, you eat bad carbs, something like pasta or potatoes, so on and so forth. Your blood sugar spikes, and so does your insulin levels, okay? Now, you add protein before that, and it will moderate your blood sugar. Okay. When your insulin and blood sugar are at a moderate level, you're more likely to burn body fat throughout the day. Just say no to carbs, but yes to certain fats. See, the thing is, fats don't make you fat. Carbs make you fat. There's certain good fats that you need to have in your diet. About 20 to 30% of your diet should be allocated towards fat. Okay. So a few of them are fish oil, flaxseed oil. Don't you like the fish oil? It tastes great, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> And while you're at it, Sean says you should keep a food journal. It's one way of staying honest. So why write down everything I eat? Accountability and awareness. Then it's time for Sean's final tip. Don't skimp on the shut-eye. Good job on the workout, Sky. You must be exhausted. Yeah, a little tired. A little tired? Yeah. Well, can she go home and go to sleep now? Absolutely. That's actually the best part of strength training. Really? For me and for anybody else. I yeah. like that part. She has to sleep <laughs> eight, eight and a half hours a night, mandatory. When you go home, the growth, repair, recovery primarily occurs during rest. Well, considering all the working out Sky's been doing, that shouldn't be too hard. We'll check in with her in a couple of weeks to see how it's going.